Hey guys, I'm up here. Today we are looking at a puncher vine plant or goat head plant. These have pretty flowers on them and I thought they were cool until I stepped on some of these. These have little thorns on them that get into your tires and into your tootsies and into my Birkenstocks. And they travel wherever you walk and then plant themselves. And I think these seeds can lay dormant for like 10 years before they uh, won't grow any more new plants. So we got to find a way to get rid of these because they are spreading everywhere. And you see these little guys in here are called puncher vine weevils. And they will crawl into the plant, lay their eggs, and eat only goat head plants. There is apparently 250 of them in this little container and the directions say to take out about 25 of them and put them in an area that has goat heads. Now our entire property here has these goat head plants all the way along there, over here, and you can see them spreading out into the grass in any of the areas that we walk. This whole area here was cleared out, but you can see the places that we walk at because they all have these goat heads that stick to the shoes and then follow us wherever we go and plant their little seeds. So we are going to take off our little lid here. Oh, look, there's three of them right there. Hello. Four. Wow. I'll just kind of drop this. They don't want to get out. Come on. Come on. Get out. Get out. These guys are tenacious. Here we go. Yay, we're starting. Okay, so you can see that they come packaged in a little bit of goat head plantage where they are growing. We're going to take some of these guys here. Ooh, now they're moving. And see them there? Put them right there where they get fresh new food. These little guys will crawl around into the new goat head plants out here and munch on them and then lay their seeds inside the vine and the seeds I guess and then will lay their eggs and munch on them and create more of these little guys. Each container here is supposed to do about an acre of property. So we're going to walk 15 to 30 steps away from this spot and plant some more of these bugs down. Just having these things out overnight did this. You see all of the little uh, brown on there, less leaves, is starting to eat these things away. Here's what's happened after a week of these things being out. You can see all the spots that had the goat heads put down on them are being eaten away. These ones here, they kind of came across and started on these ones. Uh, there's a spot over here that I dropped a little bit down on, right in here. And I mean, I put them all over the place, but you can see we put some here, we put some here, all along this. Look at that, all of these are gone. Over here, it's starting to take out all of these. Now this looks all nice and green, but you can start seeing some yellow in there and here on the edges. See how much they've eaten down? Completely taken off the uh, little branches all the way down eating them. So they're in there somewhere. 
see here. Uh, there's a couple of these that I purposely didn't do any on. Let me see, like right here. But you can still see that some of them are starting to yellow out and get eaten. Uh, where else? Oh, here is one that I did not do. So let's see if it's traveled all the way out. Yep, right here. Look at this. It's all starting to thin out. So all the way out to the edge of the driveway. Uh, let's see where else. Oh, over by the shipping container. Right here is the first spot that we put some of these things. And you can see it's eaten away all the way to just the stems here too. Look at this. All of that used to look like this. And I can see that they've worked their way out here to the pasture a bit. So they're probably heading that way. Gonna have a good long summer. Look, here's some more. See how much these have died off here? They've been this way. You can almost track these guys like this. It's kind of cool. I don't really think we actually have too much out there in the way of the goat heads since we don't travel out there that much. But I have driven the tractor through a few times, so there might be some spots like here. But you can see they even got to this too. So I put those down over there. And they've made it all the way out to here at least. Here's some that's been eaten. So that is how you get rid of goat heads. Get these little critters out once a year, as soon as you possibly can. And all of these guys will not be a problem for you, at least for that year. And hopefully they'll overwinter and do their job again next year. Well, that's all I have for this video. As always, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, check us out on the website, and we'll see you guys in the next one.